where lightning never strikes twice. But let's see how to add custom enchantments to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom enchantments to Minecraft with Fabric. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process. What is very, let's say, complex is actually the thing that happens when you have the enchantment, right? We're going to be making a lightning striker enchantment simply because that's actually fairly straightforward in terms of the code that you need to make this happen. But let's just see. So first of all, in our tutorial mod package, we're going to create a new package called enchantments. And inside of there, we need two new classes. One of them is going to be the mod enchantments class. There you go. And then the other one is going to be the uh, lightning striker enchantment. That's a very long name, but that's okay. And this is also the first class that we're actually going to be dealing with. This is going to extend the enchantment class right here. Let's hover over this and create constructor matching super. And then first of all, we need to make this public. That's number one. And then number two, instead of an array here, we're just going to type in dot, dot, dot. This will enable us to basically put in multiple plot types. And then it's just basically handled sort of in the background, uh, converted to an array. Number one, very important thing that we need to override here. So there's a couple of methods. Let's middle mouse button click on the enchantment. And you can actually see all of the methods here. We have some, you know, min levels, power levels, even protection amount. We can combine basically what, what, what can this be combined with? And as you can see, some other stuff is treasure is cursed. So there's a lot of stuff here, rarity as well. We're going to see that in just a moment as well. So the number one thing that we need to override definitely is the get max level method. And this returns the number of books that are generated for this enchantment. So we actually don't need to do anything when it comes to the books. It basically is all handled for us with this. If we want five levels, we put in a five. If we want three, three. If we want two levels, we can put in a two. So that's pretty much all that we need to do. We need to override the get max level method. And then in our example, what I want to do is when I'm in level one. So when the uh, enchantment has level one, I want to spawn one lightning. Otherwise, if it's level two, I want it to spawn two lightnings. I don't think that the there's actually much difference in here. But once again, this is just an example. And there are some methods that we can override. For example, the on target damaged. We also have something like the on user damaged. So this is when the user actually takes damage. And as you can see, there's also get protection amount. There's some more stuff here when I type in override, as you can see, you know, there's a few things that we can do. Usually things happen on when you damage a target or when you get damaged. So we're going to take the on target damaged. And in here, well, the first thing that we need to check is whether or not the world is client or not. So we basically negate this with the semi uh, with the not semicolon but with the exclamation mark here and basically saying okay now we are on the server which is exactly right because when we actually want to spawn a lightning bolt we have to be on the server so server world uh, world so we're just going to make a new variable here we'll also import this pressing alt and enter importing this class and then we're going to say user.world and then we can basically call cast in here and usually it will fill this with the server world already. So basically casting the world to the server world. So we have access to that variable now. Then we're going to make a player entity player, which is equal to the user dot cast once again. And this is going to be the player entity oh, player entity. There you go. And then at the end here, we also have the block pass. So this is just the position where the target is currently at. So target dot get block pass. And we'll also import the block pass pressing alt and enter. And now you can see that this also has the level here. So we can basically just say, hey, if level level is equal to one, then we want to do something. And if a level is equal to two, then we're going to do something else. So how do we spawn a lightning? It's actually not too crazy. We're going to say entity type dot lightning bolt dot spawn. We have to supply the world. We, of course, have the world in here already. That's pretty good. Then we're going to say null because we don't actually have any NBT data here. We also have a no name in this case. Then we have to pass in the player. No worries there. The block pass. Well, we have that as well. The position. Then we need a spawn reason. So I'm going to say spawn reason. You can see there's a bunch of stuff here. I personally think that this probably makes sense if this is triggered. This might be a, some other stuff, but that's okay. Align the position. We're going to say true. And then invert Y. We're going to say true as well. And this will now spawn one lightning if this is level one. Okay, then we're going to just copy this. So select everything, control C, control V, and then we're going to change this to level two. And we're just going to add one more lightning here. So that's pretty much it. And that is the entirety of the functionality done. Once again, 
if you have a certain idea of what your enchantment is you know supposed to do then this might get more complicated in here uh this is basically just an example i want to show you how you can register your enchantments when it comes to this really like some solid java knowledge really is going to help you along the way i will say this basically until the day i die you need some java knowledge if you have like really complicated ideas for your enchantments but that is the lightning striker enchantment class completely done now we can move on to the mod enchantments class which is actually going to be fairly straightforward as well. So the first thing that we're going to have is we're going to have a, a public static a void, which is going to be the register mod a, mod enchantments. En enchantments. There you go. And this will simply, I will actually copy this over. This will simply print out registering the mod enchantments for our tutorial mod here, because this is once again something that we have to call in the oh an e snuck itself in there and we have to call this in our tutorial mod class but no worries there and then we also need a private static enchantment enchantment called register so this is the register method with string name and the enchantment called enchantment and this will simply return the registry dot register with the registry registry dot enchantment and a new identifier with the tutorial mod mod id and the name and then here the enchantment so you can see we're simply registering the enchantment that we're passing in here with our tutorial mod and the name that we put in there under the enchantment registry so this is nothing too crazy this is pretty much exactly what we're doing with the blocks and the items and all of that jazz as well and then we simply have to define the actual enchantment and this is done here so public static enchantment called the light lightning striker which is equal to the register method light lightning underscore striker and then a new lightning striker enchantment we're going to pass in the enchantment dot rarity uncommon that's fine then we have to specify a target so that's enchantment target you can see there's a bunch of stuff here breakable bigger fishing rod even this is weapon for our case and then the equipment slot is going to be the main and end all of this with a semicolon i'm gonna make the formatting a little bit different there you go and that pretty much is the lightning striker enchantment registered now we only have to call this right here so at the bottom we're gonna say mod enchantments dot register mod enchantments and that's it now our enchantment is in the game the two books will actually generate automatically so this is of course once again because of this max level here and I would say let's see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft and as you can see the lightning striker has been added now you can also see that the translation is not there but we can fix that very easily of course in just a moment after we're done with the demonstration here and you can see i can put this on my iron swords let's just put this on here and let's see if i can find a an entity anywhere here i guess not hello there well bad a day for you my friend and if i hit it a lightning spawns so that's pretty cool and then if i hit it with the number two excuse me <laughs> if i hit it with the other one and you can see this also works totally fine now one thing to mention here is though that when i'm in survival mode right then i'm going to get hurt as well because once again the you know when i do this as you can see now i was also hit with the lightning so that is something to well consider with this in particular enchantment but like i said this is of course just an example and it works beautifully so that's actually pretty cool right in here just to basically have this in full this is the actual translation here is just enchantment dot your mod id dot lightning striker exactly the name that we've given it right here so that should be it and then everything will well translate correctly this is also the case for every level so you don't need to specify every level individually this is done for well all of them and that is pretty much it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah